In my last book, What is the Origin of Man, I have repeated that these statements on man were those which impressed me most from a scientific point of view. I even delivered a lecture on this subject in 1976 at the French Academy of Medicine. Now I have fully developed all these elements in two books. When dealing with the origin of man, I cannot fail to evoke how the Quran teaches us, in a more general sense, on the starting point of life. I will only quote the verse of the Surah al anbiya Awalam yara al-lazina kafaru inna samawati wal arda kana tarad kan fafatakna huma wa jahalna min al-mahi kulla shayin hayin afala yuminun. Do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were joined together when we clothed them asunder and we got every living thing out of the water with a zen not believe. Who today does not know that the origin of life is aquatic. Furthermore, I believe I distinguish in the Quran allusion to transformation of human morphology taking place in sequence in different phases as modern science demonstrates. These verses have become accessible to human understanding only in the modern era. The ancient commentators, as well as today's translators and commentators could not and cannot grasp the real meaning only a scientist understands. I shall not emphasize the well-known spiritual sense attached to the creation of man from the ground, which appeared in many verses. But the Quran evokes after the creation a second phase wherein God gave form to man. This Surat Al-Araf Lakad ralaknakum, summa sawarnakum, summa kulnan il malaikati ujudul yadama. We created you, and thereupon we fashioned you. Thereupon we told to the angels, bow down to Adam. Man was fashioned harmoniously, such in the mention of sawa, which applies to man in the surah al hij and the surah Sad. Moreover, in the surah Al Infita, it is specified that El Lazi Ralakaka, Fasawaka, Fa Adalaka, Fiei Suratin, Masha, Masha, Rakabaka. God is the one who created you, then fashioned you harmoniously and in due proportion, in whatsoever form he willed, he made you out of components. I will follow with the quotation of verses which uh, speak for themselves, if I may say so. Minel suratin teen. Lakad ralaknan insana fi hasani taqwimin. We created man according to the best organizational plan, for I suppose that such is the meaning of taqwim. As to the following verse, Surat Nu Wakad Ralakna Kum at Warand, he created two in stages. I have suggested in my last book that Atwar, which appeared once in the Quran, could be related to the transformation undergone by the human species throughout the ages. Indeed, all those who have studied embryology are well aware, aware that it is in the uterus of the mother that are outlined, then settled, all morphological transformation which will fully develop in the adult. The stages through, we, through which the embryo passes in the uterus, to which one generally relates the word, are just as applicable to the entire human lineage. Finally, when one has in mind the data provided by the study of fossils concerning the successive waves of human types in the history of our species, how can one not compare these two verses of the Quran with these findings? <laughs>